Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by. It's Laurie Bly DIY, and today I have these super cute country farmhouse canisters that I made with products from the Dollar Tree. You will never guess what this cover is made out of, so you'll have to watch the video to find out. And while you're at it, don't forget to click that subscribe button below so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. To begin this project, you're going to need two packages of the letter stickers, two hamburger patty presses, paint brushes, white spray paint, two of the seven and a half inch tin containers with the rope, black and white paint, which are optional, and your E6000. To begin, we're going to take our two tin containers and we're then going to remove the rope from each of them. Once you remove all the rope from the containers, there will be a glue residue left underneath. I used mineral spirits to clean mine off, but there are other over-the-counter products that will do the same. I'm going to save this rope to use on another project. And once you clean off the gluey residue, you will have a nice flat finish to begin painting on. I then took both of my containers and sprayed them with the white spray paint inside and out. I gave each of them two coats. I then took my black paint and I painted a stripe around the top of each of them. I gave them each two coats. I used the little ridge on the can as an easy guide to follow with my paintbrush. Now take your hamburger patty presses and remove them from the packaging. You're then going to use a piece of sandpaper to sand down the inside just a bit, not too much enough to just make it a little rough and then you're going to use the same sandpaper and you're going to do the same with the top part of the patty press. And by doing this it will just help the two rough surfaces adhere better when we glue them together. I then took my black paint and I painted the inside of the top of the hamburger press. There's a nice little well in there, so if you just have your paintbrush follow along, it made it pretty easy and pretty neat. I gave each side of the patty press two coats of paint, and if you go out of the line a little bit, it's not a problem because it's very easy to clean off of the plastic. Once the paint on the lids are completely dry, you're then going to take your E6000 and you're going to use it to attach the top to the bottom. I ran a thick bead of glue along the inside of the bottom and then along the very top of the lid. Both pieces have lines in them so when I attached them, I made sure that the lines matched up. I just pressed it firmly and I let it dry. And now your lids are ready to use. Now we take our letter stickers and we spell out the word flour and the word sugar. I placed them on a paper plate. They are sticky on the back. And then I just painted them with my black paint. The back of the letters are sticky, but I didn't think they would attach that well. So I decided to use a thin coat of Aileen's glue on the back of each letter. So I just used a small paintbrush and put a light coat of the glue on the back of each of the letters before I attached them to the can. I found the back seam of the can and turned it around so that I could work directly on the front. I decided to start my letter placement about two inches down from the black stripe.
I used my best judgment that it was straight and I kind of just worked at it until it was in a place that I was happy. And then I just followed the rest of the letters until I spelt out the word flower. I then followed the exact same procedure for the sugar can until they were both done. And once they are both completed, now comes the messy part. Now this is completely optional. You can leave them white as they are, but I wanted to decorate them up a bit because they are from my daughter's apartment. So what you're going to do is just take some of your black paint and you're going to start to speckle them. I then took my black paintbrush and made sure that it didn't have a lot of paint on it and used my wooden spoon to just kind of bang the paintbrush against. This also works great with a toothbrush, but I was just trying to protect my hands from getting a lot of paint on them. And I just continued to do this over and over until I felt like there was enough black paint on the can. I then followed the exact same procedure for the sugar. Just tapping it away until I felt like there was enough black on it. Once they were both completely dry, I then decided to tone down the black stripe by using some white paint and following the exact same procedure. I just used some white acrylic paint that I had on hand and then I just proceeded to tap around until the black stripe was kind of toned down and it looked cute too because some of the letters had a little bit of white paint on them. This can get a bit messy, so if you do have the option of doing this outside, I would highly recommend it. And when they are completed, we're now going to place on the lids. And because they don't fit with a perfect tight seal, I would highly recommend if you do use them to place your flour and your sugar in plastic bags. And to complete, you just simply put each of the lids on top. My daughter was so happy to get these and they look adorable in her apartment. Please make sure you click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos and I can't wait to hang out with you again soon. Bye everybody!